So yes, I apologize. Um, it's been forever since uh, my last uh, video on uh, making an 8-bit game. But anyway, to review, this is where we were. I got uh, the animation and the joystick controls working. There's a couple of problems. Um, there's like no ability to detect when to fall. Like obviously, um, I don't want uh, this guy to be able to walk on air essentially. Also over here, you can see that these boundaries are not uh, respected. You should not be able to walk through brick. So on uh, today's episode, we're going to uh, fix those issues. You'll have to forgive me another time. As I said before, I'm an old school guy. And I couldn't help but uh, bring this to pen and paper right now. So anyway, um, this is basically what my character sprite looks like. And each sprite is defined by an X and Y parameter. And unfortunately, um, that is basically over here, top left corner. It's not going to be very good for hit detection or to see when your character is uh, on a brick or something like this. So what we'll do, conceptually I'll draw you, is basically set up certain boundaries like left boundary, right boundary, and top and bottom. So for left boundary, basically it'll look like this. So that's going to be used like for left hand side hit detection. For right boundary, I'm going to choose this point. I was tempted to choose one, one pixel to the right, but because this guy's not perfectly uh, symmetrical, um, we benefit from doing it here. And then for the bottom boundary, we'll use the bottom row. Sorry about that, not too straight. And then for the top one, top row is sufficient here. So anyway, as far as um, falling goes, I'm going to draw your attention to the, where these things intersect. So where the bottom boundary and left boundary uh, intersect, we'll call that um, the left heel. And then where the right hand boundary and bottom, let's call that... Uh, right toe or even right heel. Anyway, left foot, right foot is maybe the way to do it. So what you would essentially do is you can, if you had a subroutine that decides whether or not a particular point uh, lies within a brick, you could do it first with the left foot and say, is the left foot in the brick? Um, if it is, then you're not falling. It, and then you say, is the right foot in a brick? If it too is not in a brick, um, then you would It'd be a situation where you're falling. Okay, so now we'll see uh, if our code is working. So the first thing we'll do is to see if um, fall is respected. So right now I'm going left and right. Okay, so there should be a small little fall off of this little ledge. And yes. Now the real test now is there's this big, big drop here. So what's going to happen now? and you see we fell all the way down that, so that's good. Now the other thing I want to do is to see if uh, left boundary is uh, respected. So I just reset the software. I'm going to go down this little ledge again and now um, previously I was able to walk right into this brick. And now you can see that um, I'm not allowed to go in. Unfortunately, I there's no really there's no right boundary. Oh, perhaps there is. Watch this. I will basically fall down, and I'll keep to the right and see whether or not I penetrate that brick wall. So yeah, you can see I'm not going through the brick on the right either. So this is successful. Um, so in the next episode, spoiler alert, we'll do um, some jumping. That'll be the next objective.